Hi guys and welcome to part 33 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Now if you're wondering why this um, video is out so soon after the last, basically it's because this video is not going to involve quite as much video editing. I'm going to just shoot this mostly on the fly, a uh, bad pun I'm afraid, and uh, just put it together and ship it out and see how it goes. Basically I wanted to try and get this out pretty quickly. Um, and as you can see I'm testing out the flyable broom mod. And uh, it's actually a lot of fun. I'm guessing I don't really need to explain what on earth this mod is. Uh, but to, just to give you the very brief specifics, there is a broom. You can craft it with some soul gems and a broomstick and make it into a flyable broomstick. And then you can basically, you can actually wield it like a, a wand or a staff and shoot lightning. Um, and it's fairly, fairly powerful. And if you drop it, it turns into a flyable broom. Um, just basically a steed. Now, it does make horse noises. Uh, so I'm sure that will get fixed eventually. Uh, and there are a few other glitches. But basically, it behaves just like a horse, except if you look up, you fly up. If you look down, you fly down. You can see there's a slight motion as if you're giddying up the horse. Excuse me, I'm just trying to figure out where on earth I'm going. Okay. Off to college. Um, and um, you can sprint. And basically you travel pretty fast and you can rise above most items. Uh, which does unfortunately add a few glitches to the game because Skyrim is not like Morrowind. When you fly over things you will see some unfinished areas that they just assumed you would never see. Which is unfortunate. Uh, but all in all, it just acts like any other mount, except that it can go anywhere. Now, obviously, this is, in in some small way, kind of like cheating. Because you will not get attacked. Uh, there's very few flying creatures apart from dragons. I may actually have, I may have actually uh, attracted the attention of one. Have I? Well, possibly. I'm probably being chased by a dragon. Um, but you can actually outrun most things. Um, so, it's a pretty safe way to travel. And it's kind of cool. You can do the whole swooping in and out of uh, canyons. Buzzing the uh, wildlife. Just generally, on the whole, having a hell of a lot of fun. Now, it seems to be compatible with um, convenient horses. Uh, in that, once you get to your destination... Oh, I seem to be having trouble going under that. Let me just fly over. Once you get to your destination, you can actually use the fast dismount key. And um, it seems to work just fine. So as you get close to somewhere where you're not going to fall and die, fast dismount works just fine. Um, and if you're wondering where the broom went, see, as there's some glitches. It seems there's actually like a horse hitbox left behind. So as I said, there are some glitches. But if you're wondering where the broom went, it's still, it goes back into your inventory. So you can actually take it out if you want to wield it some more. But all in all, even though it's not, it's got a lot of glitches, it's actually quite a lot of fun. It really is. Um, definitely worth trying out. Now, the other mod you probably can see straight away is actually the hat I'm wearing. This is a very cool hat. Um, it's actually from the Shredded Triss armor, um, which is a character from The Witcher. And the main mod has this very skimpy female armor, which obviously is not going to be good for my orc character here. However, it, it does have this great looking hat, as you can see. Typical sort of wizard hat. Really cool. A little bit of clipping with my ponytail, but I can live with it. Um, but the mod author obviously realized that a lot of people would like the hat without the skimpy armor, and in fact made a standalone version just for the hat. There are two versions of the hat, one with a slight red headband and one with black. Very cool, very, very wizardish. I mean, all we need now with the broomstick and this hat, all we need now is a mod that turns Windhold into Hogwarts. Oh, and perhaps someone could actually make a Quidditch mod. Now, the last mod I want to talk about for the budding young wizard is yes. the Fenderix mod. Um, this is a mod that basically adds 
uh, well, hundreds of spells. I mean, literally, it adds spells that summon a whole host of creatures. Um, I mean, if you just look at things like it's got teleport spells. You can teleport around. So um, you can slow time. You can accelerate time so that time moves faster. This is a really interesting one. So you can cast it's this spell. Group of us here. And everyone must start moving around really fast. If I haven't quite figured out the use for that yet, but it's, you know, kind of cool. Um, time stop spell. There are spells that allow you to uh, fortify all your skills, alchemy, archery, block, whatever. You, those of you who played Oblivion um, and Morrowind, you will recognize a lot of these spells. Um, there are ones that make you move faster. Uh, there are, I mean, the summoning spells are some of my absolute favorite. Um, if you go along to summoning, you can summon a host of different types of familiars. Um, you can even ho summon, where is it, rabbit. I'm sure you've made note of who's been the most during time. There you go. A summoned rabbit. <laughs> but, it, I mean, the, the, you know, I mean, it's not just fun, silly spell, spells like that. You've got spells like um, Troll. Um, saber cats, very useful things. Or my personal favourites are the skeletal warriors. So you get skeletal archers, skeletal mages, skeletal warriors. Um, and the thing is with these is they're permanent. So you cast them once and they stay so you don't have to keep casting them. Which is a, this actually a really nice touch. So if you're fed up of zombies and them basically there dying within minutes, summon a skeleton. Some of the more amusing spells uh, are things like you can throw exploding birds at people. <laughs> uh, if that's your thing, there you go. And of course, there's the sort of obligatory force spells. <laughs> so if you're fed up of actually using your shouts to knock people around, you can use spells. And it's pretty strong. You can really knock people around with it. It does, however, use quite a lot of magic up. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Now, of course, some of the uh, more powerful spells are the teleport spells. They take a few seconds to cast, but once you do, you instantly teleport to one of the major cities. For example, Whiterun, Markarth, uh, etc. Very, very powerful spells indeed. Allow you to sort of zip around very, very quickly um, at your pleasure. Now, there are also some changes to the perks. Um, especially the destruction tree. If you go along to the destruction tree, you will see a complete extra branch going off in this direction. Fenderix destruction. Efficient destroyer. Pure of blood. And lingering acid. And it's fairly obvious what those things do. But in general, there are just so many spells, you are never going to be able to use them all, I think, in one playthrough. Mm. There's just a variety of different playstyles with these spells. Make now, to buy the spells, you can find two ambassadors that will sell you these spells. One of them is in the College of Winterhold, um, and the other exactly. is in Whiterun, near the Farangar, the mage. Um, and they sell all mm. the spells, waiting. as well as have some dialogue. They do have a couple of very tough guards with them, so I don't suggest attacking them. Um, if you don't want to buy them, excuse me, if you don't want to buy them, there is a cheat chest, which you can steal from, which, as you can see, I have done so for the purposes of this video. But whatever your preferences are for spells, basically, this, this mod is adding so many different spells that it really will make spellcasting as a playthrough a lot more interesting. Gives you so many more options. Now there's no way to do the Fenderix mod real justice just from a few minutes playing and testing. I've been playing for weeks and I've only just scratched the surface on this. I've got quite a few spells but I think there's a place to visit, a city. Um, but there are 271 spells at the moment split up into a wide variety of archetypes. You can check his front page to find out all the different types of spells. Um, there, are, there are a lot of different damage spells. You can actually do damage with all the different 
schools, so illusion, restoration, are actually uh, turned into more viable combat schools as well. Uh, but the destruction school gets a lot of extra stuff as well. So don't worry, there's there's a lot of love there. Um, several perk changes um, and so on. It's well worth reading this page to see what it offers, um, just so you can find out which spells you think you want to try. Now, Fenderix Magic Evolved is actually probably the most complicated of these mods to install, but it's not that complicated. Um, if you go along to the file section, you will find the main file. You're going to need that, so download with Manager and activate. There are some optional files. I'll let you figure those out if you want, but basically you need this one file. The only reason this is slightly complicated is if you're using any mod that changes the perks. And he covers this on his page and basically massive letters if you have a mod that changes perks you must load it after this mod. So that means in your mod manager if you're opening Nexus mod manager any perks for example I have a mod that removes the requirements from perks so all you need are the levels you don't need the previous perks that must come after the Fenderix mod if I want it to work so for example when I check my load order you'll notice Fenderix is actually here it's in the wrong place I need the no perk prerequisites to come after Fenderix simple as that Fenderix no perk prereqs um, so that's something you should be aware of the flyable broomstick is actually very easy to install a single file flyable broomstick download with manager and activate the shredded triss armor there are a lot of files if you want the armor with the skimpy outfit if you've got a female character you could of course install that but all i wanted was the shredded triss hat only file so i went here shredded triss hat hat only download with manager and activate dead simple dead easy and as usual, I'm going to finish with some screenshots that you guys have made. If you want to post screenshots for me to put in these videos, you can follow the link I'll put down below to my Skyrim Mod Sanctuary Nexus page and post the images there. Um, you're more than welcome to do that and I will try and post as many as I can each episode. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If it was, please click the like button. I always appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video, whatever that is. And until then, as always, have fun.